Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while. I had a newborn, so most of you who have kids understand that it takes all the time away from whatever it is that we have to do. I finally got a chance to work on this car again, this 93 that I've um, completely restored. Um, brought it back to life. And uh, I finally got a chance to register the car went through uh, a hassle going through the AAA they wouldn't register with uh, both license plate missing I was able to get the registration get the smog done and uh, I had to stop by the DMV to get two new plates um, resolve some minor issues with the uh, car idling I had a hard time idling once it's uh, fully warm up I had some minor issues with uh, one of the sensors, uh, which I replaced. And now it's idling and it runs perfectly fine. I'll show it to you guys. Open the door here. your third gen 3S GT as you can see the airflow meter is gone that's how you can tell if it's a gen 3 and of course they're written it on the intercooler piping from the JDM import I got a little mess here on the wiring, a couple wires sticking out, that's because I um, finally wired up my speed sensor. It initially had um, a cable sensor and it was a 91 cluster that I was using. Well, I, this is a 93 chassis so I had to run the 93 speed sensor, the electronic speed sensor, that's why you see these couple wires sticking out here. I wish I had the time to record it, but this is what I did. There's three wires that comes out of the uh, speed sensor. One of them goes to um, sensor ground to the computer, not the ground to the body or the chassis. One of them goes to the uh, 7.5. In this case, I use the ECU 7.5 um, fuse. 7.5 amp and the purple wire that comes out of the sensor which is the one on the uh, I think the one on the left and that's the wire that runs all the way to this, the cabin inside okay, let me leave that open runs it all the way through the inside and underneath the kick panel Pull this off real quick so I can show you guys the one that I'm teeing off and then tees off of your connector right over here uh, my fingers blocking it anyhow that is the wire that you want to connect and tee it off there it's the um, purple and white wire purple and white wire and that is the wire that goes to your cluster gives it a pulse signal that way your speed sensor will actually um, tell your your speedometer how fast you're going on the older model it doesn't have the electronic speed sensor so it runs by the cable and of course it's a different cluster you can't really switch just the face you gotta take the whole entire cluster out and on the plugs and everything is different. As you can see, this is a, a 93 and up and it's a digital cluster. It goes up to 9,000 RPM and it's a turbo cluster. 
Well, I'll take you guys for a ride for the first time. Fires right up. No engine light, nothing. Rest freely, perfectly fine. Let's go for a ride, guys. This gotta suck. I can't really reverse this. This recording. Oh, well, gotta figure a way. How about this? Hopefully the camera stays in one spot and not fall off while I'm driving. It's only held by a magnetic piece. <laughs> 